Hello, and welcome back to a new video. It is Thrawn's Revenge. Sorry, another video. But there. Um, and it's a short one today. Uh, just some content in between the usual content of maybe some other stuff that I've been working on. So, this is a model that I had built for my lug. It was basically make a 8x8 vignette. And I wanted to try this because I haven't done landscaping work in a really long time. And so I thought... Why not, you know, try to do it again after not doing it for so long? Just to, you know, re-get the, get those skills back in order again so I can hopefully start doing larger landscape displays, hopefully. Um, so I call this Imperial r, &R. It is a 8x8 display. Um, it goes pretty far up compared to a normal vignette i'd say normal vignettes i feel are, are usually a lot shorter than this um a lot of the other people's vignettes when they showed it at my lug uh were shorter so i wanted something that was taller you know add add some some height to it that i thought would be really fun um my brother got the bonsai tree and that's where some of these parts come from he wants to keep it in the like cherry blossom look so i ended up being able to take some pieces from that which was fantastic so i'll turn off the uh spinning table here real quick and kind of show you the details so it's basically just an imperial stormtrooper um chilling in a swamp eating an apple um he is sitting on what looks like a dock right here uh i just kind of built this out of out of my head just for fun so there's kind of like this dock and then you can see that the dock has the um, printed one by one round tiles of the end cap of a cut tree. So there's kind of a close up to that. And then this tree was actually a lot of fun to build and design. <clears throat> I really wanted to use the kind of vine pieces to give it that swampy look. And then some splashing of colors with these, um, I think it's like a dark pink flower. <laughs> So it was a lot of fun to design this tree. I wanted to use the vine piece that comes from the bonsai uh, to give that kind of like swampy, viney look. Although I do think if I were to try to do this tree again, I would make it a little bit less chunky. I want to give it kind of that kind of that that like flowy tree look. Um, I just don't have the parts myself to be able to do something like that right now. So hopefully over time I'll be able to to get those. Um, another thing I wanted to try, as you can see, is kind of have this this difference in the in the dirt, the sub layers of the dirt. Um, so we have like this traditional dirt here, and then it goes straight to rock with with some pieces of pebbles here and there, as you can see. Um, I wanted to try that out as well. That was a new technique for me. I've I've never done something like that normally. When I used to do terrain builds my terrain was a lot flatter like barely a brick in thickness coming out of the base plate that i would use so i want to start getting used to like adding depth to my model specifically you know if, if it's a if it's supposed to be a cut of a piece of earth i want to show the differences in the earth i think that adds a lot of depth to the model adds a lot of detail to it as if it literally is a cut of whatever the model is or whatever the vignette is Another thing I wanted to do was some was some fun little rock work. So in there is actually a little cave, and you can't see that very well. So let me help you see that properly. I'll get my phone out and get my flashlight. Um, so right there, you'll see, right? There's a little cave. There's a vine in there, and then some more of that swamp water, which is kind of seeping through the back. You'll see there's like a tiny little tiny little waterfall right there of that swamp water kind of pouring into this little well with the vine on top. I just wanted to add like a little bit of detail, um, which is why I added the height as I knew that when I was building this, I wanted some sort of cave inside of it, some sort of, you know, little, hey, look, there's, there's stuff in there, there's stuff going on instead of it just being like a block. I could have just done like a block. It would have probably been easier to do. This in about like a single sitting was about I think two or three hours of work, uh, mostly because my pieces are horribly unorganized. So it was <laughs> a little challenging to to organize my my parts in a way that I could get this this look in the first place. So a lot of the time was just looking at the pieces that I have and being like, what would work, you know, for this. So I just thought I'd show you guys this this little vignette that I made. I'll probably be taking it apart soon. But it was it was a new adventure for me of, of trying a bunch of new things and some new techniques and 
and getting back into landscaping and terrain work. So hopefully I'll be able to do more stuff like this in the future. And as I get more more used to it, I'll be able to kind of experiment more. I'll probably stick with 8x8 vignettes for now and kind of get used to doing it small scale first and then hopefully up upsize um, my terrain work so I can start adding my vehicles in the, the models. So uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the video on Monday. Peace out.